So, what do you know about the bio-tapestry? The short answer is probably not much. But you know it's a tapestry, obviously. You know that it was made of bio, equally obviously. Uh, bio's in France, yes, you know that. Uh, you know it's all about um, the Norman Conquest. Uh, that's how we know so much about the Norman Conquest. You know that it was made by William the Conqueror. And you know that it's all about Hastings. <laughs> well, not quite. Um, historians are the most terrible killjoys. Uh, they will tell you that Harold was not shot in the eye with an arrow. After all, more of that perhaps later on. They tell you that Alfred didn't burn the cakes. What a shame. They tell you that Robin Hood did not look like Errol Flynn and he didn't win the war against King John all by himself. He probably didn't exist at all. Uh, and King John didn't sign Magna Carta because he couldn't write. Um, so by the same token, I have to tell you, being a, a killjoy historian, that the bio tapestry was not made in bio. It's only talked about. They only call it the bio tapestry because the first reference to it comes in the 15th century, over 400 years after it was commissioned. And they found it in a church inventory, inventory in, in, in bio. That's why they call it the bio tapestry. Otherwise, it had nothing to do with bio. Uh, it was not ordered by William, we know that. We think that most of the scholars seem to agree that it was ordered by William's brother, Odo, Bishop of Bayeux. But you think? Uh, William, uh, William's mother, Arlette, remember Arlette? Um, when uh, Robert died, she married again. When her husband died, she married again. Or not the man who was not her husband, but her partner died, she married again. She really did marry this chap. He was a, a tradesman in, in uh, Falaise, I think, and she had two children. One of them was Odo, and William made him Bishop of Bayeux when he was 14. Um, so the Bayeux tapestry was not made in Bayeux. It was not ordered by William. And as for being all about the Battle of Hastings, they don't mention the Battle of Hastings till it's about 75% over. Only 25% of the tapestry is about the Battle of Hastings. Oh, yeah, and the final thing, it wasn't a tapestry. <laughs> it was an embroidery. So there. You say it wasn't about Hastings. What about all those pictures? The axes and the swords and the horses and the arrows. It's true, true, true. But 75% of the bio-tapestry is about other things as well. The bio-tapestry tells you only what the Normans want you to know. Give an example. I told you that it was created by Odo, Bishop of Bayeux. Now, two Norman bishops fought at Hastings. One was Odo himself, bully for, him, bully for Odo. Another was a man called Geoffrey, who was the Bishop of Coutances, a town in western Normandy. Now, Odo and Geoffrey didn't get on. And it's most interesting that when you look at the tapestry, you'll see Odo depicted three or four times, but you don't see Geoffrey at all. Odo edited Geoffrey right out of, of the bio tapestry. So it tells you what it wants you to know. So you mean it isn't true? Oh yes, it's true, but it's not the whole truth. It's out to prove something. Medieval historians always wanted a moral to their stories. History was not just one damn thing after another. It all meant something, and you could always get a lesson from it. There was a great deal of finger-wagging involved with medieval historians. God was involved. Harold had lost, not because he wasn't good enough. Harold lost because he ought to have lost. He had sinned, and God had punished him. Serve him jolly well right. He was a perjurer. In medieval illustrations, funnily enough, uh, blinding is often shown as, as a punishment for the sinner. Uh, you know, we're told that Harold got shot in the eye. More of that later. Uh, so the idea that a sinner was blinded uh, by God's order w was quite a common one. Take the idea of Samson, if you like, whether you could interpret that as God's punishment. Well, if the bio tapestry wasn't about the bio uh, about the Battle of Hastings, what the devil was it about? Well, pretty well everything else: kings, castles, 
hunting, feasting, shipbuilding, sailing, getting shipwrecked, types of military equipment, horses, cavalry chart, absolutely everything under the sun. I mentioned I barely scratched the surface. And there were 230 feet of it. There are 230 feet of it now, and as far as we know, very little has been lost. If you want to write a history of almost anything in the medieval world, you'll find evidence in the Bio Tapestry. You can get some ammunition out of the Bio Tapestry.